What is up guys? Welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there, and since I'm guessing there aren't many mothers watching, um, make sure you tell your moms Happy Mother's Day, because I'm sure they do a lot for you. Um, so, the video today is the top five most versatile characters in the game, and I struggled to come up with the name. I'm like, okay, am, you know, powerful? No, it's not exactly powerful, because that would be like Darth Revan, you know. I impactful? would probably be a good thing to say and probably some of the top five best kits in the game because they've been able to last so these five characters that are on this list have been able to succeed in many lineups over a long amount of time and have been meta viable for a while uh, some of the best squad arena teams usable in many aspects of the game so we're going to start with number five and that is captain rex now he's not as good today uh, with other characters out, but I still believe he he is uh, five in this list because of how long he was good in the leadership spot and how it's still a pretty good ability. It states clone allies gain 20% max health and other allies gain half that amount. In addition, whenever an ally suffers a critical hit, all clone allies gain 50% turn meter and other allies gain half that amount. When your ability to when you have the ability to feed 7.5% turn meter whenever you're critically hit, whenever anybody on the team is critically hit to everybody else, you're solid. Back in the, you know, uh, I almost said back in the day, but, you know, back a year or so ago, two years ago, he was probably the number one leader in the game because you could you could use him with Wampa, you could use him have some Night Sisters in there, you could use many different characters and have him be the leader. And he also, you know, takes turn meter away with his basic, is able to grant tenacity up, cleanse. Um, so he's a good character overall. Again, not today as meta-defining, but if we're talking about impact on the game, uh, versatile characters, and, and still in Grand Arena and Territory where it's great, in, in Grand Arena, I, I compose a team of Rex with the leaderships uh, in the leadership slot and still win on offense every time. So Rex is number five. Number four is R2-D2 because he's still usable in teams today. He is great. Now, he has to be Zeta'd for him to be versatile and meta impactful and it's it's definitely because of combat analysis when a light side ally the zeta when a light side ally scores a critical hit they're dispelling all debuffs on themselves that's a passive cleanse that's huge that helps you big time he's been in many lineups jedi training ray lineups cls lineups he's probably going to be in more lineups in the future and number crunch which i absolutely love um is when a droid galactic republic rebel or resistance ally uh, if they're on the squad, they're gaining 10% of R2-D2's max protection, offense, max health, and potency until R2-D2 is defeated. I love using him with CLS and giving him all this offense, just spreading all of that damage across the field. And because he's been he's usable in so many lineups, maybe again, I don't know, I'm going to work around with him in a Padme lineup, see how that goes. Um, I, I, he's definitely in the top five. Number three is nest nest is able to fit any lineup in into any lineup still in the days of jedi knight revan and darth revan is she as arena viable probably not but she's still great and she can there's probably still many teams out there that have her in it i suggest the zeta on her but it's not necessary and she's good at three stars here's what she's able to do she's able to to ignore taunt with this hell steal she's going to be getting counter counter chance I guess let's start with it this way. Her kinetic charge, if you you could put a lot of speed on her usually or high tenacity, you can daze the full team. And remove turn meter if they had full health. And then gain extra turn meter if they have less full health. It can't be countered, it can't be evaded, they can resist the daze, but granting daze the entire team or enemy team is amazing. Able to stun and inflict buff immunity with this with this attack, stun impact, able to dispel any defensive uh, uh buffs and exposed with their basic and able to take a beating with this ability right now when or when uh fighting instinct whenever nest is damaged by an attack she gains 30 percent critical chance and 40 percent bonus protection stacking this bonus protection increases by an additional 40 percent each time both bonuses expire and reset at the uh end of her next turn she becomes the best tank at the game when you get that setup going so that's why she's usable in so many lineups, because of all the b debuffs she can spread, her survivability, she's a great character. And that's why she is in the top five, because also, she's good at three stars. Uh, for you, you know, newer players out there, Farm Nest. Number two, still probably one of the best tanks in the game. 
uh, probably overall he probably is because you know and yeah malik sith trooper that fits into that sith lineup but it's general kenobi since he came out and he was the uh tank raid reward character he has been amazing he is a he can take a lot of damage one his basic attack can grant foresight to a random enemy it's going to deal double damage if all the allies are buffed, but the deal is he's not really there to do damage. This is huge. Not only will he cleanse and grant the opposite buffs of the debuffs that you have, he's also able to give retribution if they weren't debuffed at all, so they're constantly going to be able to counterattack. I mean, just just actually think of this. Plus the Ken cleanse, he's gaining turn meter. Then he's able to call a mass AoE. And what's nice now is with the rework that they have, uh, him, Padme, Anakin, Ahsoka, I can't wait to work along with them more. His leadership ability was used big time when you had a Zeta Barris team, and I, it's still pretty solid. Let's, uh, let's get that right. And then the Sorisu, he has a chance to gain foresight. And whenever another ally is critically hit, if General Kenobi is alive, they gain critical hit immunity, and General Kenobi taunts for one turn. He keeps the taunt if they're being critically hit, which is amazing. So that's why he was really, really good under a Rex team as well. Because if somebody's critically hit, not only would they gain turn meter, General Kenobi would gain a taunt as well. And he's survivable. Very good character. Second best character, most versatile character in the game. Number one, this is a hands down, no brainer decision. Probably the best character in the game design-wise, kit-wise. Most of you probably know who it is because he's been in the game for about a... It was summer of 2017 that he, came, that he came to the game. So it's almost two years in June. And that's none other, than, none other than Grand Admiral Thrawn. Not only does he have a capital ship that's a good capital ship that makes that tremendously valuable... We're going to go through his attacks here. First of all, his basic attack, okay? He's able to deal quite a bit of damage with it, and he gives a, you know, deal special damage to target enemy, grant them speed up for one turn, or if they already had an ability block, stun them for one turn. And it deals quite a bit of damage. This is, in my opinion, still the best, most well-thought-out ability in the game, and it is Fracture. Deal special damage to target enemy four times to spell all buffs on the room, on them remove 50 percent turn meter and inflict fraction until the start of thrawn's next turn or until thrawn is defeated this fracture can't be copied or dispelled this attack can't be evaded or resisted we all know all this when another character's fractured they're taken out of the battle until thrawn goes again that is the best ability overall in the game and that is why thrawn is still usable in every he has been usable in every meta team that has happened for the last two years you could throw him in as, in as a fifth character, and he would fit. He can still work in Darth Revan teams today. That's why he is definitely the most versatile character in the game. His leadership's decent. He's able to, you know, uh, swap turn meter, cleanse, stuff like that. So that's why definitely most versatile character in the game. I want to know what you guys think, okay? Because we're going to go in right now, and I'm just going to put all five of the characters in the same lineup. All five of these characters, and we're going to go into the hardest battle we can find, which is this one right here. And we're going to do with a Rex lead. I want to find absolutely... Okay, we're going to throw Cassian in there. We're going to go Rex lead. And, and again, in the comment section, let me know what you guys think. Are these the top five most versatile characters? I put this on Discord first and let people know, you know, what do you guys think? And somebody brought up Hermit Yoda. Hermit Yoda is an absolutely amazing character. He is. But is he in this top five? Does he fit in this top five like these other characters do? I don't think he does. I'm not. That doesn't mean that he's a bad character. Let's get that right. Um, he's an excellent character. I, I don't think, you know, because Chewie could be on this list as well. But he's newer to the game. So that's what kind of made up my mind with that because there are a lot of characters. You know, Ezra was in a thought process if I went the top 10 because he can deal damage and can work in so many different lineups. And then none other than Empire for Thrawn. So here we go. This, this is the team right here. And with a Rex lead, they all work together. And then again, Cassian's just in here because he needs because I need to have an extra character in here. 
So, we'll start off here. Again, we're getting good turn meter gain lead from Rex. I get to Fracture. What's great about Fracture? Most of you know this. This enemy taken out of the battle until Thrawn goes again. Not only can I stun with R2, I can give Burning, which is a great ability as well. And now let's just, you know, go to town. I know most of you know this, but especially for beginners or newer players of the game, which, which need a little help, you know, look at this list and, and think, okay, these are five characters I should definitely be focusing on in the game. And only uh, Thrawn is a legendary. You need the Phoenix to get him. Phoenix are easy to farm. R2, legendary character. You need five Empire characters to get him. Kenobi is a raid character. Rex is farmable through a regular node, and so is Nest. So I'm just using basics right now, but you, especially early when you use the R2 teams with Jedi Training Ray or CLS, you'd always give stealth to the tank. You'd always give stealth to Kenobi like this. Or Bays if you're using them in a Bays team. Chase, I should say, because you had Chew and Bays. And Luminara, we're just going to take you out of the battle. Not going to be concerned about you whatsoever. Probably, uh, I probably should actually just throw this. I don't want to use it in Grand Arena because I, I fit all these characters into different teams. So, final encounter here, which is nice. Just, you know, I'm just giving you a preview of what these characters are. They're just, and I want to know, again, do you agree with me? Is this the top five list? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's not five more versatile characters in the game than these characters. Some could argue Rex might not be in here. But okay, see, now let's do this. Let's give turn meter to General Kenobi with Thrawn. Let's cleanse everything in, um... And then, well, well, what's great about Rex is not only that, let's daze all these people right here. Let's give smoke screen to Kenobi. Let's cleanse everything with Rex. Let's finish off Maul. Give burning to everybody. I mean, just the versatility of the char these characters. Now, R2 is not spreading any debuffs. Let's fracture Vader to Thrawn. I'm sorry, not spreading any debuffs. I'm sorry. He's not spreading any statistics to Thrawn or Nest. His um, ability to uh, Zeta ability to let people passively cleanse on a critical hit, a hit, he's giving to Nest, but it's, none of his abilities are working on Thrawn because Thrawn is a dark side character. But again, Galactic Republic, these three characters are, are um, very synergistic right here. But we're, again, we're not necessarily looking looking at them in the same team. We're looking at them overall in the game. So let me know what you guys think. Top five most versatile characters in the game. Most used characters. Best kit in the game is definitely Thrawn, in my opinion. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the subscribe button, like the video, click the notification bell so you can be alerted to all videos that I post. Also, I'm leaving a link to my Discord server, Patreon page, and Twitter page in the description below. Make sure you check that out. And like I've said throughout the entire video, make sure you leave comments in the comment section. Video ideas, constructive criticism, all that good stuff. And also, obviously, like I've said repetitively, if you agree with this list or not, and who else you would throw on this list. And if this list was going to be top 10, who are the other five characters you would add? as well. Otherwise, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, peace out and may the force be with you.